Well, let's talk about the first important concept for this course, which is the multinational enterprise. And there are different definitions of what is a multinational enterprise, depending on the book, depending on the author, depending on who claims what an in multinational enterprise is. So that's why it's important that we discuss a little bit what do we mean with that concept, and also that we agree on one of the definitions, because as I said, there are different different definitions doesn't mean that one is wrong or one is right. It's just that there are different definitions and we need to agree in one so that we can move on through the course. And we are going to use the definition from our book. It makes sense because the whole course is based in the book. So uh, the simple definition that we found in the book is that a multinational enterprise is a company that has activities in more than one country. It's very simple but it can be complicated to understand. Let me explain you a little bit more. So first, it says that it is a company, but what does being a company mean? I think that can be somehow problematized because first, a company sounds like it's an organization that is for profit, that, that, that you need, that you want to make profit. That's more or less what a company means. But in fact, in the book explains that it's not only a for-profit organization, a they mean that a company can be also a non-for-profit organization or even a government organization. So I, I think that it would be better if they will have defined multinational enterprise as it is an organization that has activities because I think it's complicated. Sometimes it sounds that company is for profit, but not. So first thing, keep write that in your notes. Multinational enterprise is any type of organization, profit or non-for-profit or government or anything, right? That's the first thing. So it is an organization or a company that has activities. And here, again, another issue. What, 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 do, what do they mean with activities? So a company or an organization can have different types of activities. And maybe if I ask you about international activities, maybe you will think about export and import because it's the most common activity. So sell and buy. Of course, if there is an organization that sells and buys something from another company, it will make that company international. Uh, so definitely sell and buy. But there are other activities that maybe they're not that common or that straightforward to us to think that those are actually activities like for example recruiting someone or investing in another country with having without having to sell or buy something so let me give you a few examples and maybe we can discuss a little bit in there first think about a local restaurant very small restaurant in Guadalajara selling traditional food or whatever uh, so we have this restaurant so if that restaurant only sells food to local people, if that restaurant only buys ingredients that are local, if that restaurant only employs people that are local, then that restaurant will not be a multinational enterprise because it, it is an organization that does not have activities in more than one country. But everything has to be local, everything, everything. Imagine that that restaurant has um, in, or or that restaurant buys ingredients from another country, like maybe they buy a special sauce from Peru, maybe, I don't know. In that case, just because they buy ingredients from another country, it will make that restaurant a multinational restaurant or a multinational enterprise. Now it sounds a bit weird, right? Like it's a local restaurant, but just because they use an international ingredient, does it make it a multinational enterprise, according to the definition of our book, yes, because they have one activity that is in more than one country. Another example, imagine they use only local ingredients and only to local people, but this restaurant hires a chef from Colombia. So if that restaurant does that, they are doing an activity in more than one country. They are hiring a Colombian um, chef. So it will make them also international. On multinational in this case so that's the second thing when we talk about activities we actually talk about anything right like as here are some examples sell it by recruit invest in formal alliance so maybe you will think like if if this definition is so strict because it's about every type of activity 
maybe maybe 99% of the companies or organizations might be multinational or international and that's true that's kind of, well from the perspective of our book because it it will make sense when we move on the course that actually everyone is, or every organization or even every person is kind of involved in multinational finance so that's why the definition is like that like it is very difficult to find someone who is not multinational according to this definition and then here, so two things, right? Like the company is non-for-profit. Profit is more like an organization, any type of organization. Then about the activities, every type of activity, that's the second thing. The first thing that I want you to remember in your notes right in there is that multinational is the same as international. It's just, again, the book wrote it as multinational, but it's the same as international. So uh, three things for, for you to remember write them in your notes and i am adding one another interesting question what if the international relationship depends on someone in between like imagine that you buy an ingredient from peru but you are not really um buying or paying for the product it means like you are only um or i mean sorry it means that there is someone in between like walmart for example maybe walmart is the one that imports the good and then you buy it in walmart so you think you are buying locally because you are buying in the local Walmart, but actually that thing comes from abroad. And again, in this case, according to our definition, because it's so broad, it will make the company multinational just because the ingredient is from Peru, even though you bought it in your local in your local uh, Walmart. So, and you bought it and you bought it in Walmart. So also you are interacting with an international party. So in the end, it's very difficult to not be international or multinational but let's agree on that definition that doesn't mean that the other definitions are wrong there are other definitions that say that in order to be multinational or international you have to have international ownership like you like part of your shares or part of the owners need to be international and that's another definition it's fine it works for other purposes but for the purpose of our course and our book we have a very broad definition of multinational imagine you are probably multinational. Tech is multinational. Uh, even the your government is international. If almost everyone is international. It will be very, very difficult to not be international. But let's keep it like that. Very broad definition. So let's continue to the next uh, concept in the next video, which will talk about the international financial market.